Let's go ahead now and add data from ArcGIS Online and the Living Atlas of the World. Now in the previous section, we added some base maps from ArcGIS Online. Let's go ahead and add the World Hydro. Let's say we're interested in a drainage study. We want to find out where this drains to. We can see this Cuesta is really what it is. It's a uh, ridge with uh, different slopes on either side of it. We can zoom out from this World Hydro layer, which is wonderful because you get the hydro lines and you also get the watersheds. The watersheds are showing up in this dashed brown da dotted line, actually, is what it is. And you can see that we're at the edge in this study area of two different watersheds. The Sink Creek, Colorado Plateau, and off to the north east is a different watershed entirely. So that uh, ridge line is uh, dividing the two. And that all came from ArcGIS Online and you've got access to thousands and thousands of other layers inside ArcGIS Online including a authoritative body of content called the Living Atlas of the World which is available right there. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and click on USA Detailed Streams and now we're going to get some more detail for the Hydro as the name implies. USA Detailed Streams. You want to be a little patient here because these USA Detailed Streams are they're quite uh, voluminous is, as the name implies they're detailed so uh, have some patience it's all streaming in from the web which is pretty amazing but we can go ahead and click on individual streams now that show up and get more information about each one of them so it's a rich data set what we're doing now is we're linking the views between the 2d and the 3d so we can go ahead and visualize both of those things very nice On the right we've got the 3D scene, on the left we've got the 2D scene, and as you can see they're synced together. Very easy to do with ArcGIS Pro, view, link, views. So this could be handy for lots of things, right? Urban studies as well as the rural study I'm doing here, so you can look at buildings and human infrastructure and things like that. Campus trees, fault scarps, all sorts of things. Let's take a look at our data. We want to change our map properties to something besides decimal degrees. Our data is in UTM, so let's make the units UTM for the bottom of the map. And so we've got the ability to do that inside layer properties. Take a look at the other metadata in there. Okay, very good. 